Hi, I'm Sophia. This year, I took the mind print assessment because I was excited to know more about myself and how I learn. I'm sure you're like me, where some things come easily in school, while other subjects or problems take me three times longer than everyone else. I never knew why until I got my mind print. It explained the why behind my learning, why some of school feels easy and other parts feel a lot harder. And it showed me what to do, giving me the right fit study strategies to help me work smarter, not harder. So I'd like to share a few things that will help you better understand your mind print. Follow along with me as I guide you through each step. Someone may have already explained this to you, but your mind print student profile is based on the mind print assessment, which was a series of exercises you recently completed on the computer. It measures 10 learning skills, or what we like to call mind print skills, that your brain uses to help you learn. The different combinations of these skills are what make you uniquely you. Ask your friends which part of the test they liked and which parts were harder for them. You'll get different answers from each of them because everyone's brains and learning styles are different. Just like a fingerprint, you have your own mind print. All right, let's get started. First, when you log in to view your student profile, at the top, you'll read a little blurb explaining why understanding how you learn best is important. Then, in the big blue box, you'll see three cards. Each of these cards represents three main categories of learning skills. Complex reasoning explains how you understand new information. Long-term memory is how well you remember the information. And executive functioning are the skills that help you organize and manage your work. Your strongest category is highlighted in yellow. This is the area you can lean on when learning gets tough. Okay, let's dive a little deeper. Take a look inside each card. Your strongest skill for that category is listed first and is in bold. It's followed by your next best skill. And the last skill in each category is your possible blocker skill or the skill that might get in the way of you doing your best. So in each card, you'll see your better way of learning, whether it's visual through pictures or verbal through words, for example. Now that you know your mind print, your biggest strengths and potential blockers, what do you do with this information? You can start by clicking on the top strategy here that's linked in the card. These strategies are called student boosts and will give you tips on how to use your strengths to help boost your learning and support you when challenges come up. Page two of your student learner profile gives you more personalized strategies by subject or topic, like homework strategies or reading strategies. The key is to only choose and try one strategy at a time and keep at it for a while. So start with the subject or topic that you feel you need the most help in and choose one strategy to try to make learning that subject a little easier. I decided to first get myself organized for homework, so I came to the homework options and chose homework checklist. Honestly, I wasn't even sure it was going to work, but I gave myself a few weeks and I've already gotten into the habit of using my homework checklist every night. Now, I feel a lot less stressed because I'm way more organized and on top of my assignments. Before we say bye, I'd like to give you one last tip. The third page of your profile has a quick guide to all the mind print skills. You can go back to this page at any time. It'll help you remember what each of the skills are and how they help you learn. The most important thing to know is this mind print is uniquely yours. Like your fingerprint, it makes you, you. So celebrate your strengths and know that you now have the tools for when learning gets challenging.